back. This is Ferone the Gnome, and we are playing Lord of the Rings Online. It is Thanksgiving evening, now going on 9.31 p.m. here, and um, <clears throat> we have been playing Lord of the Rings Online most of the day. This is the third stream today for Lord of the Rings Online for myself. We have been working for, through the Before the Shadow content. Uh, earlier today, we did Swan Fleet. We finished up Swan Fleet, took a break, came back, and we just got through doing the first quarter or so of uh, the second half of Before the Shadow, which is in the Cardolan region. We're in the town of Hearn, and we are working on quest here in Hearn. Um, as I said earlier, this is one of my favorite areas in Before the Shadow. I love the, the epic story here. So we're working on that, and we're going to continue right now. Are the names not working? There it goes. Here's the mayor's office. I, this is no Abernathel or whatever it's supposed to be. I don't believe so. Um, okay. So, you made it back, I see. You have my thanks. One day, Tharbad will be ours, one, uh, ours once more. So we did something special there. Didn't have another quest for us. Let's check and see what we got going on. Reputation changed. Uh, deed bestowed. We are in friendship, basically. Deed completed. Uh, title awarded. We're now known of the Dun, uh, Dundane. And we got some free Lotro coins. You rescued my fool of a father, and for that I cannot thank you enough. Much as we may bicker, he is still family, and I love him. Pay no heed to his harshness. He has always been like that. The accident only made it worse. When I left, he could still walk, however. I came back as soon as I received word that his condition had worsened. Sadly, he won't speak to me right now, but I know how to warm his heart. I am going to make his favorite stew. With your help, that is. I am loath to leave the, his side now that I am home, but you could get the things I need. There would be some coin in it for you, if you help. We will need bread from the baker of Winfor, potatoes from Powell Bruthless, whatever, stewing herbs from Tanguin, and a bottle of Crossway House's finest red. We're making goat stew the way Mother used to do, a Nevitt family favorite and secret recipe. Which means we'll need goat meat as well. Only the meat from Father's favorite goats will do. You will know them by their ruddy colored coat. There's a herd of them west of town that you can call from. Okay, okay. We have a, does he give us another one? Not right now. Okay, so let's head back out and see about these chores. Oh, grab my drink back here. I always move my drink away from the computer when I leave the room because the cat would kill the computer. Can I get out the door? That would be awesome. It's already in use. Let me out! Let's go over this way. Can we go in that door? We cannot. We still need to find Ab Abner. That I don't know his name. I can't say it properly. It's right there. Right there. It's set it above his door. There's Aberthal's house. That's his name, Aberthal. Uh, let's see. Here he is. Why have you come to bother me? Speak to no one. Not since. Oh, he says I speak to no one. We gotta go over here and, and place his beer down. That we brought him. I have not had any visitors in quite some time. What brings you to my home? You you want to hear about, about the crawling darkness? Arbuthal shakes his, in his chair and then takes a bracing gulp from the mug of beer. Maybe I had better know your names. Who are these companions you bring with you? Is 
we're introducing Boromir and Egfrith. Boromir, you say? Surely you are not the same Boromir who is the son of the steward of Gondor. Some twenty years ago, I traveled in the Southlands, adventuring, you know, and had the privilege of meeting the steward. I remember his sons, both of lordly main. You do bear a resemblance to the elder of the two, but you travel now in secret, it seems. I will say no more of it. A guard of the Citadel, if not its captain, in my own home. I can hardly believe it. And Egfrith, a proud woman of Rohan. In the days of my youth, I rode across the Ritter Market joyful gallop. It's the Odin still king of Rohan. It was a beautiful land, and he was stern but strong. Loved by his people and respected by his foes. It must still be so. The set of, of Egfrith's jaw tightens, but she says nothing. Everthal continues. I will tell you what happened to me with such fine protectors in my home. What have I to fear? Snooze that. Er, caught it. Almost didn't catch it in time. Four nights passed after the settling of the setting of the sun. I left my home to walk along the cobbled streets of Hearn, as in my custom, as is my custom. This I have done for years, every night, ever since I gave up the adventuring life. You may think it odd, but I have found these moonlit strolls to keep something of my old wanderlust at bay. Perhaps this is the night I keep a walking, Everthal, old fellow. I have asked myself on occasion, but thus far I have always come back to my home, and sleep comes quickly. But on that night, while strolling along the lane west of my home, smelling the night flowers and listening to the sound of frogs down by the river bank, I could sense that something was different. Can't tell you exactly what it might have been, but I was seized by a tremendous feeling of, I don't know, wrongness. I felt it in the pit of my stomach. There is a gr grassy place on the left between two buildings along that lane, and a single tree grows there. My eye was drawn to that tree, and... As I watched, I swear to you, a deeper shadow moved out from behind the trunk. It made a strange sound as it moved, a whispering just beyond the edge of my hearing. It reminded me of being lost in distant woods, stalked by a dangerous creature I could not yet see. This was no mountain lion. I drew on all my reserves of courage, I tell you, and I turned to run, but even as my muscles tensed, I knew it was too late. While I stood transfixed by the creeping shadow in front of me, a second dark figure had come up behind. This one towered above me, for it set astride a great black steed. But it, I could not tell you how I had not heard the sound of its hooves on the cobbles as it approached. I must have fainted then, for the next thing I remember is being shaken awake by Bledry, one of the townspeople carrying a lantern. He said he found me lying at the base of the tree between those two buildings on his way home with no sign of either dark figure anywhere about. But every night since, I t uh, since a terrible sensation of dread has fallen upon Hearn as the sun disappears beneath the horizon. Do you know what they were, friends? Has anything of this sort been seen in Gondor or in Rohan? What business could draw such terrible creatures to Hearn? Talk to Manelder inside Crossway House. Okay, so that was the end of talking to him there. <clears throat> oh, we have a quest right over here. Well met. I am Erinora, basket weaver of Hearn. If you're looking to make some coin, I'm looking for some help. East of Hearn are various bodies of water from which I often go to gather reeds with which to make my baskets. Of late, the reeds have been decimated by sickle flies. Well, by their larva. She shudders, saying the word. If you reduce the number of sickle flies there, I will pay you. The season may be near to over, but at least this way, there will be fewer to breed for the next. Okay. I think there's a couple more quests here in Hearn to pick up. We'll check real quick. That's the auction house. Uh, here we are. My name is Alwena, and I run the Hall of Crafts here in Hearn. However, of late, there has been a decrease in custom, and I want to get to the bottom of it. Can you speak encouraging words to some of my neighbors and tell them that even in days of darkness, working with your hands on crafts and trade can make days seem brighter? That will help, surely. 
Okay, so she wants me to go talk to people. Let's see, I see some over here. Here's one. Oh no, I simply couldn't. I'm afraid not. I would not feel safe. Any over here? Or should I go the other direction? I think I should have gone the other direction. Oh, that was it. We're back to her. People seem frightened. I need them to feel safe when they come to the Hall of Crafts or my business will suffer. I need to hire a guard to stand within the Hall of Crafts and then they will feel more safe. Here, take this pouch of coins to Edhin, who works at the Crossway House. He is a strong and strapping lad and I have noticed his muscles on more than one occasion. Tell him those coins should ease any of the reluctance he might feel to stop working for Matic at the tavern and in the future he will be very well paid to work for me instead. All right, let's head back over this way. Eden listens with a frown as you explain that Elwina wishes to hire him to stand guard at the Hall of Crafts. There are a lot of coins here, but I don't think I can leave Maddock on his own like this. He's been good to me, and I don't know how Crossway House will manage to stay open without me doing the heavy lifting. Tell Owena I appreciate the offer, but I have to refuse. I know I complain about carrying so many boxes and crates all day, but I think standing in one place in the Hall of Crafts would wear out even faster with boredom. So, let's go back in here and talk to Maneldir now that we've finished that part. Oh, the potatoes we need to pick up. I almost forgot about that. For the stew. I think we may have to pick up something back here. Yes, the bread. And there's the bottle of wine. I was going to pick up the keg. The keg of wine. All right, now let's talk to Manel, dear. What did you learn from the old man, Rasiki? You tell Menelder of Aberthal's frightening nighttime encounter, he frowns and strokes his beard. This does align with the story Boromir told us about the power he sensed at Osgiliath. But here a horse at such speed? Oh, I may. I may, Terranor. One second. Uh, what has brought it here? A horse at such speed? I may know one name of these creatures, but I will not speak it here. He turns to the innkeeper. Matic, might ask, might I ask you to open your doors to all the townsfolk of Hearn this evening? Some evil has left its mark upon the village, and I think it would be safest in the townsfolk's shelter behind the strong walls of Crossway House tonight. An elder turns back to you. As for us, Rasiki, I think we should hunt some game in Sedgemead to resupply Matic's pantry, gather up firewood so we can keep the town br uh, braziers burning, all night, and bring word to the townspeople that they should shelter within Crossway House tonight. What say you to this plan? I will not leave these people undefended. I cannot. Alright, so let me check real quick. Something's going on in the kinship I wasn't paying attention to. Uh... Is there anybody else on? No, it's just me and Terranor. Okay. Uh, let's see here. We... Do we have anything else we need to do here? I'm not positive. Let me go back upstairs and check, because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, right there. Right there is another one. Okay. Hello there. We're here for the herbs Rangar ordered. I have them right here. I hope our dear mayor is not giving her too much trouble. Were they here where I got to pick them up, or did she give them to me? She hands them to me. All right, and let's see if this guy's finally got a quest. Nope, not yet. So some things pop up in these rooms at a certain point. 
not positive when or which one. So just check them every time I come here. Let's head back outside. Hmm. All right. Uh oh, I'm not moving. That's bad. Okay, there it goes. It fixed itself. All right, let's see what all we got. We got a bunch of stuff around town, it would seem. Got something over here. Do I have to go back and talk to this guy or something? Holy crap, the lag is getting horrifying. Let's see if I have to go talk to him. Oh, that's right. We have to tell the people that we're going to all stay in the uh, in the inn tonight for safety. It's already in use. Ugh, the server is going into super lag mode. This is why I crack up when people uh, try to say on the forums that, that the lag is is uh, your computer or your network. No. <laughs> no. In the first place, uh, SSG employees have said that there's server lag and they're working on it. You want the townsfolk to shelter within Crossway House tonight? If I hadn't found old Aberthal lying on the ground the night this started happening, I might think it wasn't necessary, stranger. But I believe something evil had him in its clutches. And it only departed when I drew near with my limb. I will tell my neighbors your plan. You want the folk of Hearn to shelter within Crossway House tonight? If I hadn't felt the terrible dread that settles upon Hearn when the sun goes down, I might object, stranger. But I'll do as you say and let my neighbors know to do the same. Something is not right in Hearn. Where else should we go? Back over this way, it would appear. That one there we don't need right now. Yeah, this way. That's right, because we got to tell uh, Alwina that the guy does not want to be her, uh, uh, not bodyguard, um, guard for her crafting hall right now. Shelter in Crossway House tonight. Preposterous. My family would do as we have always done, stranger, and stay in our own home. There's a bad feeling about Hearn of late, it is true. But with my door barred and the candles snuffed, my family has nothing to fear. Others can do as they will, but we will not cower in the tavern all night. This is some scheme of Maddox to fill his coffers, and you mark my words. <clears throat> I mean, you mark my words. No Daberthal has always been mad. Ask anyone. Now, good day to you, and do not bother me again. She's a little bit angry there, I'm just saying. A little bit. He turned me down. <laughs> well, I will take that pouch of coins back. I appreciate you asking him for me at any rate. Here, take a few of the coins I would have given to Eden. Still, I have to think about what I can do now. My problem remains. If folk are afraid to work in the Hall of Crafts, my business will suffer. What is happening to Hearn these days? Okay, that quest is done. We don't have anything in town, so let's get out here to the blue one. Uh, that's getting the goats, and the green one is the wolf pack out here. And I believe right here was the flies, maybe. Uh, no, no, that's this one over here. All right, we got a lot to do. Let's head in that direction. These these ear ear pads they they headphones push against my ears and after a while it just feels like they're being crushed. Ah, oh, I gotta take it off for a while. Grab me batty. And I ran right past the goats that we need to kill. Or the stew, of course. The Nevitt family recipe. Here they are. Okay, I'm lagged out, but he's dead anyway. <laughs> oh, 
Holy moly. Sometimes the server just is not happy. It's not happy in the least bit. Like I've said a million times, if it wasn't for the fact that the game is so good, the story is so awesome, I would not put up with this with the lag. But it is good, and that's why I put up with it. Sometimes, you know, some days you get in here and you don't have any lag. Other days, it can be uh, downright uh, crippling. It's just a hit and miss kind of thing. We need a couple more. mount up and go back this direction i feel like we've gotten out of the area yeah we have ah oh, there's one right up there one more all right we've got our goat meat let's mount up and head over that way we've got a long ride out here to where the uh wolves are at Watch my brother play um, World of Warcraft Classic. He's playing a human warlock right now. If you like watching people play World of Warcraft and EverQuest, he plays that a lot more. EverQuest. Go check out my brother's channel. It's uh, Puppet102. P U P P E T 102. He plays EverQuest just about every day and World of Warcraft on Thursdays. He's just getting started, so he could definitely use some follows. You can also check out his YouTube, just like me. He has a Twitch and a YouTube, both named both name the same. Uh, so it's youtube.com slash puppet102. You can catch all of his rebroadcast on there. He does it live on Twitch. Where is this? Are we almost there? Yeah, we're almost there. Oh, and I remember this. There was the uh, invisible, not hidden, the hidden wolves over here are paying the butt to find. I do remember that now. Not quite a problem if you are the right level, because they'll attack you. But if you're not the right level, like me, if you're way above their level, they won't attack you. So it's almost impossible to find the hidden ones. But we will do our best to try to find them. There's the beach nuts we got to pick up. Hey, we just found a, a hidden one. Just went by us. Come on, die already. There we are. I have to have four of those. Just have to be at the right place at the right time to see them go by. There's another one sneaking by. I am getting super lucky. I need to fix that real quick. The, um... Is that it? There it is. It's right down here. Examination tooltip. Let me move that over here. There we are. Oh, Turner went offline. Didn't see him go offline. Hope I didn't miss a tell. No? You still out there, Terranor? On a different character? Oh, look, we found a stalker. We got him. We just need one more of those, and I do think we need the pack leader. Yeah, we do. There we are, we defeated the pack leader.
Oh. Oh, I see. Fellowship invite. He's a tracker, so he's going to come and help me. I may find the last one on accident before you get here, honestly. Your way over there in Hearn. If you need these for your character, though, I'm more than happy to kill them for you. I think. What are they called? Beach nuts. I need two more beach nuts. There's one up here. Oh, oh what was that? Something was sneaking by me. I didn't see it though. Hey, look! There he comes! Hey, he leveled! Cheer! Hurrah! <laughs> Now that you've came all this way, all I need is one of the uh, uh, Moorland Slinkers. I think he's headed in that direction, but he's lagged. There it goes. That's it. Tracking a couple more of them. It's the beauty of being a hunter. Where'd he go? The lag is horrendous and I can't see where he went to. He went up this hill, apparently. Gunner.
All right. He's headed off to uh, do more crafting on Terranor. I'm going to go around to the other side of this uh, lake or pond. Because I know there's a quest over here. I just don't know if I'm at the level or not level. I mean, at the point in the quest where I can get this uh, this one. We'll find out. Let's see. Right. We found a chest. And no, she doesn't want to talk to me yet. So we're not at that point in the quest yet. What's up with these things? I got one, whatever the heck it was. Uh, let's check our alerts. Deed bestowed. Find ancient treasure ch caches. I wonder how many of those I gotta find, because that's worth 3,000 virtue. That sounds freaking nice. All right, let's mount up and head back to Hearn. In fact, that's such a long trip back to Hearn, we're going to recall to it. Come on. Okay, so who all do we need to see? Mm -hmm. My eyes are that's our itching. Definitely gonna have to take my eye drops tonight. Alright, let's see here. Thank you, Traveler. I hope this quells their bra brazenness. Brazenness. Or needs no further tribulation. Is there anything else in here? I don't recall. Come on. There it goes. Uh, we need to take the nuts back over here to the kid. Hmm. That looks very familiar. <laughs> Anybody on the forums that, that frequents the forums or not will know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, you found a lot. Caddy eagerly takes the beech nuts from you and spreads them out onto the table. I'll take half and you take half. If you don't know how to get these seeds out, I'll teach you. When Mr. Rendell comes back, I'm going to plant so many trees with him, Caddy Beams. Thank you. All right, so that takes care of that quest line. Oh yeah, we need the flies. Almost forgot about the flies. Oh, where are the flies at? They're just outside of town over there. And what was the purple one? The purple one is collect choice cuts of meat and animals. And okay, let's go do that. Let's go do that. I was just watching. It looks like my brother is doing cooking right now. Oh no, he's not. He's making bandages. He was at a uh, fireplace in in a while, so in crafting. So I thought he was cooking, but he's making bandages right now. I do like the game. I can't say I don't like World of War. It's just I prefer the original, which is why I play when I do play. I play on World of Warcraft Classic. I, I'm not a fan of the. Uh, uh, modern WoW. It, it just does nothing for me. I know some people like it, and you know, to each their own. It's, that's absolutely okay. You can like whatever you want. Just not for me. Uh, 
Okay, let's see here. Do these count as well? No, it automatically give me that, so I'm not going to kill it. Where am I? I'm way in the wrong direction. Let's go that way. i put my drink out of the way. He was a thief. I had to, you know, I had to deal with him. Right. That's what you do to thieves, right? You poke them in the chest with the sword. Hit them with the pointy end. I flew right by him. <laughs> uh, here, there he is. So many of these flies. Don't fly away from me while I'm swimming. I wonder if these count for the meat. It looks like they do. Here we are. Uh, try a bird. That did not count. Oh well. Sorry he had to die for us to find that out. <clears throat> Where's he at? Oh, there it is. Holy crap, that was hard to see. Finding in these reeds is really difficult. Last one of the flies. All right, we just need to get the uh, meat. How many more do we need? It. Eight of ten. Oh, and we need firewood as well. Where's the firewood at? I'm not real positive where the firewood. We will figure it out though. One more of those. All right, that takes care of those, so we should be able to see. Down here's the firewood now. We'll mount up and head that direction. Check something. Don't technically have a quest or a deed for him, so I'll let him go this time. But next time, next time he'll pay the price. Uh, let's see, we need to go this direction. Looking for firewood. An orc will not let go. Um, where is it? Aha! Firewood! Lots of it. Okay, we're good. say that, but he's not picking anything up yet. There he goes.
doesn't count for firewood, but we'll get it out of the way anyway. Where's the rest of the firewood? Ah, see firewood. <laughs> I can see my brother is running back to his corpse. Apparently things did not go well. Okay, we're done there. We just need to go back to Hearn. Ah, didn't make it across. <laughs> I typed on his chat. I see someone died. He just said, yes, I died. And if I was on hardcore, I'd be starting over right now. <sighs> I can barely hear him. All right, we gotta light the uh, all the braziers here in town. Oh, we're putting the wood into the braziers. What we're doing so they can be lit. Is there? Oh, right here. And right here. All right, where else do we need to go? Uh, let's go up this way. Is, is it done? What a relief. Things are sure strange around Hearn these days. Oh, that's right. We need to take the things over here for the stew. You have done it. Now to fill this cottage with his favorite smells. Will you join us for dinner? It's the least I could do to repay you. I'm going to get started on dinner, but I wonder if I could impose upon you for another favor while I'm seeing to the cooking. My father's bedroom is on the second floor, but is in, in his condition. There is no way he can manage stairs. Will you disassemble his bed and reassemble it in his library downstairs? He will complain, I am sure, but I can tell by the bedroll that he has already been spending nights down here, thankfully. 
My brother just died again. After some time and effort, the bed has just been dismantled. server to respawn. I've already clicked on her. Thank you so much. I know he has a hard time admitting when he needs help, but I think that in the end he will be grateful. While you were taking apart the bed, father had a guest arrive. As I'm sure you noticed, that is Osian Beto, and I am certain that he is the reason father was down at Tharbad snooping around. I suspect he is also the reason father got injured years ago. Osan has always wanted to be mayor, and he, and though he whispers honeyed words into father's ears, his actions have led me to believe he is more of a wasp than a bee. Well, I have some work yet to do on the stew. We bring the wine to the table. Oh, and perhaps you could speak with them. I want to know what is going on, but Osian and I are not on speaking terms, and Father clamps his mouth shut as soon as I enter the room. Oh, we gotta pick up the wine. I have no problem with Rayangar, and I wish she would, would warm up to me. I have made sure to care for her dear father in her absence, but Cad Cadwallon missed her a great deal. <clears throat> it has been so difficult for him since the accident. Well, his troubles go back decades before that to when his wife ran off. Oh, should not speak of it. Are you still here? <laughs> well, the wine is welcome, even if you are not. No offense meant, but my daughter does not need someone like you around giving her crazed ideas. She already ran off to the big city and abandoned her duties and me. She is back, but for how long? Her mother was the same way, never content to settle down, always running off to look at crumbled fortresses and searching for elves and the little folk down south in Swanfleet. The mayor narrows his eyes at you but accepts the wine. That's not good. I can talk to her. Well, what did they say? Oh, Zion cared for my father in my absence, did he? did not realize my father needing uh, tending until now. No, he is a grown man and was capable when I left. I will not let that guilt creep in and take away the joy I had in traveling and studying in Bree. But what my father said is intriguing. Mother was going to look at ruins. His words are stirring a memory within me. Siki, will you do me a favor and look for my mother's journal? It should be on the shelf in my father's library. You found it. What memories this brings back. After Mother disappeared, I would pore over her written words for hours, searching for some clue as to where she went. I never believed she left us on purpose, as my father insists. No, I think she met some darker fate. The stew needs to cook over a low fire for many hours, and I also wish to check on the townsfolk and see how they are far faring. Will you meet me at the Crossway House? Many people are still holed up in the inn, taking comfort from one another. Okay. So we're going to go over to Crossway House. First. Let me go by the crafting hall real quick, see if there's anything I can do. 
here before we head over that way. And let's see, are there any Taylor? A couple of Taylor recipes. Right. We can learn any of these. Already knew one of them. What is this? Six hours of stuff? Hmm. I'll hold on to that. Let's sell some of this stuff. Alright, that should do it. Let's head on over to the uh, <coughs> Crossway's house. Crossway House, I should say. Come on, go. Riangar. Thank you for meeting me here. The town is still reeling from the passage of those black riders. I want to help wherever I can. If you have time, perhaps you too could lend some aid. <clears throat> my father was the main reason I returned, but he is correct in that I would have come back on my own now as well. I have been doing research into an ancient ruler of this land, Lualoth. Long ago, she served as Princess Regent when her son was too young to take the throne. Lualoth was beloved by her people, and under her rule, the land prospered. Cardolan was once a great and powerful place with princess, princes and princesses, knights and guildmasters. Now it is ruins, spirits, and dangerous creatures. The wild has taken back the rolling hills. The once great walls of, of fortresses are overgrown and being reclaimed by the old forest. Will you listen to my tale of Lualath? I will. Lulith was Princess Regent of Cardolan thousands of years ago. She was known for her bravery and for the kindness and wisdom with which she ruled while acting as Regent until her son came of age. Not much of her story remains, however, but my mother told me tales of her when I was young. You see, my mother had traveled up to Dol Ernel before I was born. There she read an inscription on the base of an ancient statue that said that Lulith banished a scourge of wraiths that plagued the land. Father has shooed me away, and it turns out there is not much I can do here at the moment. I cannot safely travel within Dol Ernel, but I must know what is on the base of that of the statue. Perhaps it can help us understand what is happening now in Cardolan. Please, let us go to Dol Ernel. I shall have to wait by the road where it's safer, but you could easily search for the statue. The braziers are refilled, and Maddox's pantry has been newly filled. <clears throat> Good. As for whether the townsfolk will shelter within Crossway House tonight, let us hope more of them do than do not. It is for their own good, though they may not all believe it. Let me know when you are ready, Rasiki, and we will wait for night to fall. Right. Here goes the fun stuff. Oh, hold on. What's going on over here? Quest here. My baby! My child is missing, please! You must help me. Everything was fine last night. I put Kay down to sleep at the usual time, but when I woke this morning, he was gone. I have been trying to work up the courage to leave the inn to search for him, but the riders, the riders! What if the riders took him? Oh, please, will you ask if any of my neighbors have seen him? Perhaps he went to one of their houses. What? A missing child? Of course I have not seen them. She should go look for the brat herself and stop putting her problems on the shoulders of others. We already have enough going on. What a jerk. A missing child? Oh, how awful. This is the first I'm hearing of it. I will try to ask around as well, but no, I do not know where the child is.
No, I'm sorry, I have not seen the little one today. Have you asked his friends? They are all playing together in the inn. Anything? Nope. And nope. Go upstairs. I hit that button again. Greetings, I am Tangwin, healer of Hearn. Dangerous times these are. Wicked figures draped in shadow prowl through our village. Goblins to the north, orcs to the south, wolves that pour, uh, pour through our streets, ravenous and driven mad by some fell rage. With all of this chaos, folk are, are, an blah, blah, folk are anxious and barely sleeping through the nights. Hawkwort is an herb which can be made into a tea to help with these troubles. Please uh, keep a lookout. For a white flower that blooms around Hearn to the west. Bring me the heads of the flowers and gather some lavender from my garden as well. Together we will make a tea for the townsfolk of Hearn. Okay, so we need to go do that. And let's check up here. You really still don't have a quest for me? I really don't. Alright. So I don't see the kids, which is kind of interesting. I could have sworn they were here somewhere. Aha! Found her. I did see Kai. I did. He was sleepwalking, I think. His face looked all dreamy, and he was kind of mumbling. He was reaching out for the glow ball. We're not supposed to follow the glow balls. The Wailing Lady will get you. Ask Father. I told him all about what I saw. Make sure there's not another kid hiding up here that I didn't see. Yes, Maul did tell me that she saw Kai wandering off glowing lights, wa wandering after glowing lights. Honestly, Maul is a bit of a dreamer herself. I would not lend too much weight to what she said. If you ask me, though, there is someone who might know something. She talked to that Dunlending. They're kind still children all the time. I would ask him myself, but he looks rather dangerous. But it would not be a problem for you, would it? He's upstairs in his room, but don't tell him I sent you. Okay, that's the guy up there I said I thought would have a quest for us. Here we are. Yes, I am Gerthen. A missing child, you say? No, I have not seen them, but tell me everything you know. Perhaps I can help. Your words are troubling. Leader Talfren sent me here to look into rumors of dark tidings that were re uh, reaching us in Langaren. Some fell wind has swept across Swanfleet and Cardland. The dead stir in their burrows, and orcs are crawling over the ruined fortresses and forts. You say the young girl mentioned glowing balls of light. But the unrest around the barrows, the Ulhudan, have also risen. I have seen their flickering lights at dusk near Calif Califel. Perhaps you will find some answers there. I will show you where I saw them, but I dare not go close myself. North of Hearn is a small pond, around which the Ulhudan have been gathering in numbers. Meet me there. Okay. So, we need to go do these things before we do the big... Uh, the big story thing here with Minaldir here in the end. I want to finish the other parts of home first. All right, let's see what we got. <clears throat> Need to pick her lavender flowers, which are over here somewhere. I think they were on this side. Isn't it over here? There they are. There right, we got the lavender. And here's the hawk wart. Hey, how's it going? Oh, Cap Fuzzle the Wuzzle. <laughs> I love the name. <coughs> Alright, so we just need to keep picking these flowers, then we'll head out to the pond and deal with what we got going out there. I'm doing fantastic. Just playing through Before the Shadow, the mini expansion that came out last year. And uh, we did the first half over in Swanfleet, we're doing the second half here in the Cardland region. 
currently in Hearn, one of my favorite little quest hubs in this expansion. I needed one more of those and I missed it somewhere. Oh, there it is. I've seen it glowing in the distance. I can't believe it's already been an hour into this stream. This is my third stream for the day. I've been going, uh, going hard all day long working on Before the Shadow. That's funny. You asked that because I literally just said it as you were probably typing it. Yeah, I've been playing all day. Well, not all day, but my third session for the day. Let's put it that way. Uh, actually, for about one year, a little over one year. Uh, before that, I had played it like 11 years ago, but not much. I just played up to like 20s, maybe right at 30, something like that. But I was uh, heavily addicted to EverQuest and uh, stopped playing it. Then, not this October, but the October before, I started playing it again. Because a friend of mine at work has a lifetime subscription on here and plays it and I was bored with EverQuest and was looking for something else to play and I was like, hey, I'll go play on his server. And so far I have absolutely loved Lord of the Rings. Well. Well, here we are. The ruins across the pond are where I saw the El Hudan gathering. I can see their fell glow from here. Walk carefully. I will wait for you here. thing but, right. here she is that one I wanted to click on going towards where Gurthen waits and the child sprints towards him Leave me be! I will find him! Lillian, where are you? Okay. Uh, let's see. That's everything. We just need to go back and talk to this guy. Don't want to leave. Go by as well. There we are. Tricking kids into walking out here. The dreaded yawn has begun. You did it. Kai made it back to me safely. I encourage you to do what you can to reduce the number of these luring glooms for Siki. Let no more children be led astray. Be careful, though. Do not follow the El Hudan too closely, as they love to lure folk into swamps, pits, and deadly pools. So we need to kill ten of those things. How did I miss you? Get back over here. There we are. I wish I had more AoE attacks. I only have two, and they have long cooldowns. Kind of annoying. 
the person's just going to play through the story and enjoy it, I would highly suggest them take something like a hunter where you can kill everything from distance. My father played it since 07, and I started in, I think, 13. Then we both stopped for a time, and I'm using his old account. So he decides to take up the mantle. Yep, yep. No problem at all. I, th I really, I think that this game is a major hidden gem. I really do. Um, there's lots of MMOs out there. Don't get me wrong. But lots of them. Not a lot of them are really good enough that you would want to go back to them when they've been out for 16 years. This is one of the few that is one that you would go back to. And there is a ton of content now because it's been around for 16 years. And it's not crap content. It's good content. I need more of these things. There's one. Yeah, it still has issues though. I mean, it's an old game and the servers have a lot of trouble with lag. You're not seeing it right now while I'm playing, but uh, it has today. It's just at this very moment, there's not much lag, but that is one of its biggest issues. Uh, SSG that's developing it right now has said that they are aware of it. They've been aware of it for a number of years and they've been working on it, but uh, I think it gets a little better. It has gotten a little better over the past year, but it still exists. It absolutely still exists. I would not lie to anybody and tell them that it doesn't have lag. It does. Here we are. We got all those taken care of. Good work. May they trouble none again. I'm glad that the child is unharmed, but the wailing elf woman is something I do not know how to help with. Seems that she got spooked when you tried to talk with her. Perhaps she may find someone she knows less threatening. I've heard that there is a group of elven folk across the river from Karanos. Why not speak with them and see what they know of the lady? I shall return to Hearn with Kai before the Elhudan are stirred once more. Alright, so we're heading back to Hearn. And we're going to take the fast way. So all we have, oh, we got that where I have to meet her way up there, but we're not going to do that right now. So all we have is Hearn back here. In Hearn right now is this one right here. I don't want this to be disturbed. We got seven minutes and 30 seconds basically before an ad run. So let's see if we can get that done. Before I start this, I want to turn the voices back on. Voice over volume. Except. All right. I hope we have done enough, my friend. This night may be a hard. Oh, before we do that, sorry. Let's go up here and turn in the one, uh, these two quests here. Welcome back. Ah, that smells incredible. That smells incredible. I just know the people of Hearn will find comfort in the tea we shall be making. Now then, take this mint. I had wind for boil up some water for us while you were out. Add the mint and other herbs to the teapot there on the table, would you? The way he does that. To really require that much uh, drama to uh, make tea. What an incredible smell. I shall finally get some rest tonight. It smells so wonderful in here, does it not? Let's spread this lovely feeling to the rest of Hearn. Here, take the tea and bring it to villagers who may be in need. The little bird, I see why I need glasses. Oh, <laughs> that's that's my parrot. Is he not? Okay, so we don't go back to him. We probably go back to the mother downstairs. Oh, let me 
me turn up the voices a little more. Uh, so we're... Oops, wrong spot. Can you spare a moment? I would much rather have wine, brandy wine from the Golden Perch, such as is imported for festivals. Do not suppose you will have been to the Golden Perch. You do not look like you get out over the stock much. How can I be of service? A tea from the town healer. Ah, oh, that smells incredible. It reminds me of something Mother used to make to help me sleep. Thank you for uh, my friend. I will have to pay my request, respects even, to Tanguin soon. What is this world coming to? What is this now? Tea? Relax. This is not the time for relaxing. Take your herbs and meddling elsewhere. A lovely day, isn't it? Tea? Does it have honey in it? I only like tea with honey in it. Hmm, that does smell good, though. I guess I could try some. This is intolerable. Tea from Tanguin? Why, thank you. Not much will alleviate my fears until those black riders are found and dealt with, though. That why it's intolerable. So we got anybody here, right here. How can I be of service? Is this one of Tanguin's teas? Ah, she is always looking out for us. What a lovely lady. You have my thanks. May we all find rest and peace soon. Okay, that was all of them. So let's go back up. And... I'm surprised that I don't have something for the uh, lady that lost her kid. Welcome back. Why, you still have tea left? I am surprised, but not sad that there will be more left for us to enjoy. Thank you for your helper, Siki. It was a small thing, but I hope it brings peace and comfort to those we helped. Okay. So all we got left down there is an Eldair, it would seem. I do not want this interrupted. I only got three minutes left before the ad, so I'm going to force a one minute so that way there we'll have a long time. I'll be right back. Thing in my inventory to worry about right now. Oh, nice. He's in the uh, one of my kinship members is in uh, Moria right now at the Waterworks. I love Moria. It's one of my favorite expansions in the game. Absolutely adore Moria. watching the advertisement up there that's running. It's almost over. I appreciate all y'all waiting through that. I really didn't want to interrupt the scene that's about to happen. So it looks like everybody should be back by now. We've got 21 minutes now on uh, before, before the next advertisement. So let's do this. I hope we have done enough, my friend. This night may be a hard one. We have prevailed upon the innkeeper to allow the residents of Herna to shelter within Crossway House for the night. For I fear that whatever evil came to this town will be back. It is a relief to me that so many of Herne's folk listen to us, Rasiki. I hope the walls of Crossway House prove strong enough to keep them safe, or that the evil has moved on and this plan is made unnecessary. But I cannot risk that. These first hours have not been difficult for the people of Hearn, for Maddox made the wise decision to let his ale flow freely and to set plenty of food upon his tables. The real test will come in the hours ahead. You speak with some of the folk here in Crossway House and determine their mood. I 
I have not seen Crossway House this busy for many months. Would that it could be in better circumstance. Some of my neighbors believe this is some scheme of mine cooked up to increase my custom. Ha! If only I could claim to have thought of it. Alas, I am not that smart. It does seem as if nothing will come to Hearn this night. Still, you and your companions have my thanks. It is better to be safe than it is to be sorry, yes? I will tell you the honest truth, Rusiki, for you and your companions have my respect, and I cannot keep secrets from you. I wish I had not come here tonight. Manic has been free with his spiced beer, and I appreciate it, but that changes nothing. I can see in the eye of my mind the crawling shape I encountered that night in town, and I know that if I look over my shoulder, I will see its companion sitting astride a steed black as night. They are waiting just outside the walls of the inn, waiting for me to emerge. Oh, I am sorry. It's, it's just such a strong feeling. I was an adventurer, and now I am undue by the faintest whisper of a memory. I am shamed. There are so many folk here, and some of them heroes. Boromir, Boromir of Gondor, Egfrith of Rohan, and I do not exclude you from that list, Rissiki. Forgive me. I will find my courage. There is safety among so many good folk, after all. Those shadows will not dare to trouble us here. It is comforting to be inside on a night such as this, even if whatever came here before does not return. Sometimes the conversation ebbs, and I think I can hear wailing outside the walls of the inn. That's just my imagination. Perhaps it is the wind. We are safe in Crossway House, I hope. Your companions have their weapons, and so do you. You will keep us safe if anything happens, won't you? Say... There he is. There's nothing out there, at least nothing I can see. I'm giving myself a couple frights already tonight when the wind kicks up and throws back the shutters on the inn. But that is all, for now anyway. I am glad to be in here with my neighbors and not out there in the dark. Uh, what was that? What class are you using? I don't... I can't get my glasses to work. I don't seem to remember it. Hard? Oh, this actually is a brand new class that's part of the expansion that literally just came out. This is a Mariner, and um, I am a duelist on Mariner. They're from the expansion uh, Corsairs of Umbar. So he's like a sailor pirate kind of person. They call him a Mariner. Uh, return to your table. Let's see you. Pull up a seat. See if I can pull up a seat right here. We should rest while we can. That, that's not a seat. Perhaps nothing will happen, but I cannot remain idle, friend Menelvia, while danger approaches. My station shall be at a window, keeping watch. It will be some hours until dawn, Boromir. It is of no use, Ranger. I have heard this of the men of Gondor. They lower their guard only when slain. You have heard it from them alone, I imagine. Aye, and loudly. Still, it is a trait the Rohiri might have used, and spared some sorrow. The land of my people is not what it was. A kingdom draws strength from its king. Hmm. Boromir spoke to us of failed ensailment. It prevented his audience. When we reach the Dunedain, they will surely know some remedy you can bring back to Rohan. I... yes. Saruman the wizard is a friend of Rohan. His knowledge of remedies and curatives might have proved some help to your king. What is it, Egfrith? You have gone quite pale. Hmm. I did not want to say anything, but I fear the wizard might no longer be a friend to Rohan. Thank you for the follow. If Theoden King is to be cured, I would rather he recover on his own without the aid of Saruman. Aye, that seems the wisest course. 
Perhaps you should see if Boromir has seen anything outside. All right. I didn't want to interrupt the uh, conversation they had going there. This is just so freaking cool. Um, yeah, the Brawler is a freaking fun class. I love the Brawler. I haven't gotten real far on it, but it is a super cool class. I love the fact that they one of their things is a range deal. They basically take a mug and they throw it at people. So they hit them in the head with a mug. <laughs> it's like, hmm. <laughs> There's nothing out there, Rasiki. Just wind and darkness. If something is going to happen, then let it happen. Curse this endless waiting. Will the sun never rise and put an end to it? By tomorrow, these dull hours will seem only a passing dream, Boromir. Nay, it could be like another dream I've had. One that never releases its grip. We have all had dreams like that. Every day for the last half year, I have hoped I would wake from my own dream. I would rub the sleep from my eyes and see that Rohan is strong again. Would that it could be so for Gondor as well. But I speak of another dream. Have any of you ever experienced dreams with the feel of prophecy? I told you of the assault upon Osgiliath in the days of June, did I not? And of the strange omens surrounding the battle. One of these was a dream, a dream with the feel of prophecy. This I withheld from you, for I did not know what to think. In Gondor we rely upon the bright sword and the sturdy shield, and we are right to do so. The dream is a fleeting thing, and what man would put his trust in something that lives only in darkness and vanishes with the sunrise? Former strokes his beard thoughtfully. I say dreams are fleeting, but this one was peculiar. It came to my brother Faramir on the eve of the attack upon Osgiliath, and then many nights afterward always the same. It came once to me, and although my brother told me of the dreams, it was with mine own eyes that I beheld these details. They seemed so real to me. In the dream I saw the eastern sky growing dark, and there was a rumbling as of thunder. But a light lingered in the western sky, and a clear voice called to me. Seek for the sword that was broken, it said. In Imladris it dwells. There shall be counsels taken stronger than Morgul spells. That is of great interest to any son of Gondor, Rasiki. Any means of countering the evils that pour from the Morgul Vale are welcome in Minas Tirith. The voice did not stop there. Speaking of Imladris, it continued. There shall be shown a token that doom is near at hand. For Isildur's bane shall waken, and the halfling forth shall stand. Boromir stares at you solemnly. For my brother to dream of this doom, the doom of Minas Tirith, on so many nights, and then for the same dream to come to me, I fear that we are running out of time. Gondor needs the wisdom that lies hidden in Imladris, and now we waste the hours hiding in this inn, we, uh, when we should be moving ever onward. This is why you seek Imladris? You did not tell Saruman the purpose of your journey. Perhaps I was being foolish. Perhaps it is only a dream. But if it is not, if the sword that was broken might save Minas Tirith. You would do anything to save your home. I Egfrith, that I would. What was that? Uh-oh. I feel cold. Something outside. Go outside Crossway House and investigate. The feeling of dread grows stronger. Prepare yourselves, something approaches. The dead! The dead have risen! Fell sorcery sends them against us! Fight on, my friends! 
Fight on! Is there no end to this horror? I think that is all of them. It is almost dawn. It is over, Rasiki. We are alive. It is as I feared. The creatures that passed through Hearn four nights ago were the wraiths once called Nazgul. They left something behind to draw the dead hither. But why have these creatures of legend returned to life, and where did they go? And most importantly, and of greatest concern to me, for what purpose have they come so far north? We should examine the northern approach to the town. Since that's the direction from which the dead came, let us clean up whatever de detri detritus, I don't know how to say that, fell from the whites so as not to spark alarm in the townsfolk, though it may seem too late for that. So where is that? That's this way up here. Let's jump on our mountain and go check it out. Ah, here we are. Finish cleaning up after the white attack. Alright. Rusted helmet here. Oh, hello. Calling arm makes me uh, an angry fist and expires. We ticked off the arm. Bring the discarded equipment to Maneldare in Hearn. It'd be more funny if they would have said the the hen pounds the ground and flips you off as it dies. <laughs> oh my! Even in the light of day, I find it hard to believe such things are possible. This equipment is very old, Rasiki. Even in the light of day, I find it hard to believe such things are possible. Ancient terrors stalk the land once again, and the dead walk. While you were gone, I found a skull-shaped token buried in the dirt, a shallow grave of sorts just beneath the topsoil. I think it was left here on purpose to draw those creatures hither. I share Maneldia's amazement, but I do not like it. Let the dead sleep and trouble not the living. I am filled with disgust that such things may be. But where has Egfrith gone? I thought she went with you, but she has not returned. You think she ran afoul of some among the whites we might have missed? Boromir is right. I have not seen Egfrith since we came outside. I thought she went with you to collect the fallen items of the whites, but you say you have not seen her. Perhaps she went back inside the inn. Uh, does not appear to be inside the crossway. Talk to the townspeople in Hearn and learn what happened to Egg. Are they in here that we need to talk to them? I don't know. Let's go outside and see if we see the uh, things, the quest things. Yeah, up this way. down here. Oh, Aberthal's house. I probably did miss it. I hope 
have not done wrong. She told me not to give you the letter for a day or two, but if you already know to expect it, I suppose there is no harm in you having it early. I did not read it. She told me not to do so, and her expression was so grim I took her at her word. I hope I have not done wrong, Rasiki. Uh, flip over the parchment anchor. Uh, where is it? There it is. My friends, no, I cannot address you so, for our friendship was based upon a deception. I am sorry. It causes me great pain to write this, but I am left no other choice. I could not forgive myself if I abandoned you without explanation, but leave you I must, for the ink here is smudged. Don't do that. Rasiki, an elder of the north, and Boromir of Gondor. My errand to this land is not as I told you. It is true that I was born in Faldham of the Norcrofts, and I hold the good of Rohan above all else, but my mission was not to seek the Dunedain. The Odin King is ill, that much is true, but there is no cure to be found for his ailment, neither in the Rittermark nor in the Dunedain's wilderness. He has grown weak and has himself become a grave threat to the survival of Rohan. His people need a strong king, but he languishes in his sick bed. He has forgotten the strength he once possessed and can no longer lead the people who cry out to him. In days past, perhaps he would have ridden out in glory to die in battle and stir the hearts of the Rohirrim, but no longer. It was with the wizard Saruman that I consulted on this, for he has long been a friend to Rohan, and he confirmed that which I feared. It is the weakness of the blood that troubles Theoden, and it must run too in the blood of Theodred's, his, uh, Theodred, his heir. The wizard has much wisdom, for he has lived to see many lifetimes, and he can see that which the rest of us fail to recognize. Rohan itself suffers from an illness. He will treat this illness with a difficult remedy. He has found numerous orcs, likely from their mountain strongholds, and prepares to send them against the kingdom. Through the crucible of this testing, the mighty men of Rohan will prove who among them is strong enough to lead. I say men. Perhaps it will be a queen who proves able to save Rohan from this peril. The only lineages are not enough. The old lineages are not enough. Even with all his wisdom, Saruman cannot see all. When Boromir of Gondor rode near to Isengard, the wizard sought to learn what caused the son of Denethor to, to depart his own land was Saruman's plan to save Rohan in jeopardy. He charged me to follow... I am so sorry, they're going to send y'all to it. Okay, we got three minutes. He charged me to follow the son of Gondor north and to learn the purpose behind his quest. I kept a day's journey behind him, out of sight in the empty lands, but always near enough to find his course, till the crossing of the Grey Flood at Tharbad. That is where I encountered you, Maneldir and Rasiki. It was an act of desperation to join your band, but I feared Boromir would escape my reach and I would fail my own quest. Yet I did fail, for in the brief time we journeyed together I came to understand what drove Boromir to this land so far from his home. He traveled these many leagues at a dream's behest, for nothing so certain as the slimmest hope that it might aid Gondor. So too is it with me and Rohan. Each of us would do the same for our own homeland. Even now I try to excuse my treachery as if I could avoid judgment by not writing it down. There is more to my errand once I learned Boromir's purpose. I was to slay him. I could not have done it in battle for all my weapon skill, but one of these nights, while he slept, I might have managed it. But I will not. I go now to bring Saruman the knowledge he craved. He will learn something from Boromir's dream, and it will need to be enough. I thought I could slay anyone if it meant saving my kingdom, but I was wrong. I will command Aberthal to give you this letter in a few days. I want you to know what I have done and not done, but I will not risk you stopping me. For Rohan always, Egfrith. Yeah. So, um, big reveal there. Big reveal. Uh, so let's go back and talk to Maneldir. What happened? Did you find Egfrith? Is she in some danger? 
You hand the letter to Meneldir, and as he reads it, his expression darkens, a storm cloud of anger enveloping his face. This cannot be. This cannot be. Quickly, Meneldir cries, we must stop her from escaping to the southward road. She is going to be where? I don't see it on the map anywhere. Um, it's this one. Hmm. All right, southward road would be that way. Oh, down here's where it's at. Oh, it's going to be a little bit of a ride down to there. And I can see Twitch is taking y'all into a uh, ad right now, so I won't uh, read the next part when I get to her until y'all are back. How's it going? Oh, man. It keeps on saying ad starting soon, but it hasn't started. I'm not sure what's going on there. There it goes. Wish it would have started that a little sooner. Now we're closer to our destination. When we get there, we'll just wait for everybody to get back. right here I am doing great it has been a fantastic Thanksgiving went to a uh, Brazilian steakhouse and stuffed thoroughly had a great time like we got maybe 10 seconds left on the people in twitch that are in an ad break we will wait for them to get back before we continue this epic quest Looks like everybody should be back by now. Uh, uh, I went to... Um... No, I can't think of the name of it right now. Lurker, I'll, I'll tell you later when I think of it. But uh, it was... Oh, it was so good. It was $75 a person. And um, that was just the food. Then the drinks was a lot. And uh, the dessert was a lot. But I knew when we went there that it was going to be over $200 for two of us. But I only do that like once or twice a year as a gift to my brother and myself. All right, so we are trying to catch up to Egfrith to stop her. And here we are. I see the print of hooves in the dirt. She must have stolen a horse in Hearn and has already escaped into Minhirea. She is beyond our reach now. Saruman will learn what he sought. I did not see it, Rasiki. I thought Egfrith was trustworthy. I did not see it. Ormer speaks quietly, but you can hear the strain in his voice. I know what I must do. I began this journey alone, and I must finish it alone. Manildir seeks to protest, but Boromir holds up a hand. I have made up my mind. Egfrith's betrayal has opened my eyes to the sad truth that I can only rely upon myself. If the doom of Minas Tirith is truly at hand, I cannot ris risk casting aside this one chance to prevent it. I am sorry. It is for the best that I journey on to the hidden vale of Imladris alone. I wish you both well. Use caution if you find yourself in the path of the evil power I felt at Osgiliath, the one that sent the dead against Hearn. I take my leave of you, though it leave my heart heavy, but I must. Farewell. We 
the game is faint. Uh, the game I don't have very high, uh, honestly. And they're not talking a whole lot right now. I hope y'all heard it earlier. Um, yeah, that's it's just it's just music right now that's playing. Um, turn that up, Master Ball. I wish it were otherwise, Boromir, but I respect your decision. Good luck to you on your journey, and I echo your words of caution. For Siki, unless you too wish to leave me, I think we should return to the East Gate of Hern before we continue in search of my friend Narndir, who will be able to guide us to the Chieftain of the Dunedain. Be well, Boromir. All right, so we are going back to Hearn, and we're going to do it the fast way. What is it? It might just be me, but my sound is maximum, and I barely hear you. You barely hear me, or you barely hear the game? Because you should hear me just fine. I hear Frown loud and clear, but the game is faint. I know, we're we're near the end here, so uh, for the stream, but I will test it tomorrow. To make sure everything's good. I'm not sure where I need to go. To the right would appear. Ah, here we are. Let's I have been here. thinking about Egfrith and about her lies. We have already been through much, and more still lies ahead. I don't want there to be any deception between us. Secrets have a way of growing when they are left in the darkness. A friend of mine described them like mushrooms, less delicious. I, he was a hobbit, although it is not the only folk who appreciate cooked mushrooms. But I am stalling, of course I am, and Eldar sighs heavily. I was born in Tornhad, a settlement of the Dundine in the Angle, Angle of Mythothiel. Yeah, and I was one of that folk. I grew up playing in the woods and caves nearby, and when I came of age, I swore the oath they all did, to protect the line of the king as had been done for centuries, and to do as the chieftain of the Dunedain and his trusted lieutenants commanded in all things. Oh, okay. Not a problem, Neek. Not a problem at all. I failed in this Rasiki. I was commanded to keep watch on a certain house, for it was feared that trolls had come down from the mountains and might endanger the folk who lived there. I let my watchfulness lapse, and on an overcast day the trolls moved much further than anyone expected and a family was slain. I had broken my oath and they suffered the consequence of my failure. I have not considered myself a Dunedin since that day. Narndir and a few others promised to speak on my behalf to the chieftain, but my own shame burned like a fire and I fled. I would not return to these lands unless our warning was dire, and it is. So now you know, Rasiki. Judge me as you will, but the lesson of Egfrith has shown to me that it is better you know. And we get an item. Let's click on one of these. We can stay on the Greenway for another day's travel. Before we reach the ruins at which Narndir makes his camp. Our warning that Saruman has betrayed the good folk of Middle-earth must reach the chieftain of the Dunedain, and Narndir will know where he can be found. It would not be a pleasing reunion for me, but it must be done. The road leaves Hearn from the eastern side, but circles the town to the north, and that is the way we should go. Alright, so that, my friends, ends the Hearn portion of this content. And I still, to this day, say that I love that story there. The whole holding up in the inn and barring everything and hunkering down and then they show up and we go out and we kill the undead it's it's just got this whole night of the living dead theme walking dead thing going on i love it i love that story um we have these quests heading up this way and these quests over here and this quest here so on my next stream uh where i'm continuing before the shadow i will actually be heading to Karnost, Karnost, to do that quest hub there. That's awesome. 
and that will take me around the horn over here to do these quests and these quests and so forth, all the spots out here. Then I'll come back up and go up the greenway to uh, Tyrn Gorthide, Dull Arnell, and so on and so forth up here, which leads up to Breland. That's the ending. Well, it's not actually the ending because you go back over here as well. You do some stuff down here. <laughs> There's a lot still. It, for a mini expansion, there's a lot of content in Before the Shadow, honestly. Especially if you actually take the time to read and enjoy the the quest text. Which I've always said, if you're not doing that in Lord of the Rings Online, you're missing the whole purpose of the game. This isn't like other MMOs where you just take the quest, open the map, see where the stuff is, run out there, kill, collect, whatever, run back, turn it in, and go find more quests. That is not the point of Lord of the Rings Online. Lord of the Rings... Ring Lord of the Rings Online is the continuation of the books. If you're not reading it and enjoying the stories, you're playing it for the wrong reasons, in my opinion. Um, that's going to do it for this particular stream. I've been online all day. This is my third session today. We did not finish Before the Shadow, and we still probably won't finish Before the Shadow on the next stream. It's going to probably take two or three more streams to finish it. Um... Hey, thanks a lot, Cat Fuzzle Wuzzle. I really do appreciate those comments. Um, if you are watching on Twitch and you enjoy this content, please hit the follow. If you're watching over on YouTube, that means that you're watching the rebroadcast because I do everything live on Twitch, then I push it to YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, please hit the, the subscribe. And if you would, leave a like and a comment because it makes the algorithms push my content to the top and more people get to see it. And that makes me happy and I make more content because I enjoy doing this. This is my hobby. Then please go over to Twitter. It's at Fron the Gnome. It's the big X now. At Fron the Gnome and follow me over there. I put screenshots and tell people what I'm going to be doing over on that location. Uh, I will be back tomorrow. I stream almost every day. Uh, I should be back tomorrow. I'm on vacation until Monday, so we got lots of time to do lots of streams. We're going to finish before the shadow and move on to something else by the end of the week uh, weekend, I'm sure. All right, y'all have a fantastic rest of your day, night, morning, or whatever it is, wherever you are in the world. I am from the Gnome, and I'm signing off. Y'all have a fantastic whatever it is you've got left. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.